this is really stupid, you guys, so just I'm sorry in advance, okay? <laughs> Ms. Bush, I'm really, I'm really nervous. Can I do this tomorrow? When I tell my classes to enjoy the holiday weekend coming up this Sunday, inevitably, almost unbelievably, they don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not making that up. They don't know the holiday that's coming up this Sunday. Wait a minute. You? You? You should. Because this Sunday is the greatest American holiday on earth. Of course, I'm talking about Super Bowl Sunday. And if you didn't know that Super Bowl Sunday was happening this Sunday, well, I'm sorry for you. But never fear, because I'm here today to preview the big game for you. And the first thing that we need to talk about is this guy. No, not this handsome man. This handsome man. Tom Brady, the GOAT. He's Tampa Bay's quarterback. And he is widely considered to be the greatest quarterback who has ever played in the National Football League. He is the GOAT, greatest of all time. This is Brady's 10th Super Bowl that he's played in. Nobody has ever come that, nobody has ever come close to that. He's also already won six Super Bowls. Nobody's ever come close to that either. Think of it this way. This guy has been a starting quarterback in the NFL for 20 years. Yeah, he's old, he's 43. But of those 20 years, he has made it to the championship game in half of those years. 10 of those 20 years. It's unprecedented. He's number one on all-time passing yardage. No, excuse me. He's number one all-time in pass attempts, passing touchdowns. He's number two on passing yardage. And he's worth half as much money as his wife, who is the supermodel Giselle Bunchen. But he ain't the only quarterback in this shindig. Kansas City has a pretty good quarterback, too. It's this guy, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, now he's only 25, and he's only been playing three years in the NFL, but already he's been to two Super Bowls. This is his second Super Bowl. He is the defending champion. The Chiefs won the Super Bowl last year. This kid is a good quarterback. His record is 44-9. and nine. 44 wins, 9 losses. He very seldom loses. Compare that to my career coaching record. 53 wins, 106 losses, and four ties. This guy's only played three years. He's almost tied me in number of wins. Plus, he has a Minnesota connection. Did you know that? Some of you did, I bet. His father was a pitcher for the Minnesota Twins in the 90s. So his father played here and lived here. In fact, his dad one time almost hit me in an SUV. But it was my fault. It was in the middle of the road. It was outside the Metrodome. Whatever. But of course, the football game is more than just the quarterbacks. I think Tampa Bay is going to win 31 to 24, but I am in the minority when it comes to the prediction. Kansas City is 16 and two, Tampa Bay is 14 and five. The game is being played in Tampa Bay's stadium, home stadium, that's the first time that's ever happened in Super Bowl history. And earlier in the year, Kansas City did beat Tampa Bay by three points, but I still think Tampa Bay will win, partly because two guys on Kansas City's roster this week got put into the COVID-19 protocol because they decided to get haircuts this week and they got exposed to the virus. So, in the end, whether you're watching the game or watching the ads or watching the halftime show, who I think it's the weekend, I'm pretty sure about that, or you're just there for the food and the party, I hope you guys have a great time watching the greatest of all holidays in America. In fact, not only is this the greatest one, but it's a lot better than any other one that comes in February. Like Valentine's Day, bleh. or how about this? How about this for a fake holiday? The Kimberly Bush Smullen birthday, which I'm sure you've probably heard about a million times already. Not a real holiday, ignore it, like me. No matter what though, I hope you enjoy the game and I hope you are going to be rooting for your favorite team. By the way, who are you rooting for and why?